And guys, they took all of my blood. Every single drop. You don't know that you haven't cooked it yet. I watched them. I'm trying to kill me. When I go to shampoo my hair, I am noticing more hair fallout. You're not vlogging. We're 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 not vlogging. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super, super, duper well. It is currently 10.01. I'm still sipping my coffee. I had to rush out the door this morning for some labs. And guys, they took all of my blood, every single drop. I will now be living my life as a walking dead person. I would like to choose to be a vampire if possible, and I'll live out the rest of my days, which are infinite with um, Edward Cullen. I'm gonna move to Washington, back to Washington. The lady that was taking my blood this morning was not very talkative and I think I actually prefer that at first it kind of intimidated me but then at the same time I'm like well I don't really want to talk either so this is kind of nice and she did her job great she found the vein on the first try and took all of my blood I don't look at when they're taking my blood I've never passed out before but there's one time where I got woozy by overthinking about it so I just simply look away when I know they're gonna stick me and then it was a while though I think she took like when I counted after Afterwards, I think there were five to six vials. I had like two orders or something and instead of having me come twice They said oh, it's fine Like you can come, you know, just all in one go and I'm like, okay, great And then I was like, that's kind of a lot Like I felt like that was a lot that they took from me, but I feel fine feeling totally fine But still sipping on my morning coffee I literally like was rushing out of the house and I didn't have time to like finish my mug of coffee So I just grabbed it. It reminded me of like old work days I used to just like take a mug of coffee in the car on the way to work Anyway, when I was rushing out of the house I I also had the headspace, I suppose, to grab loft bag. I ended up for 4th of July going to get something 4th of July-esque, something I can wear on 4th of July because it was supposed to be very chilly on 4th of July, which it was, and I didn't have anything that wasn't a cute maybe dress to wear for 4th of July or like things for warm weather 4th of July because it's, you know, July. But it ended up being really cold, so I went to get just like a white little pullover or something, and then it ended up being much colder than even the pullover would have suffice for and like rainy so I ended up just like kind of nixing the outfit all together and I don't have a use specifically for this pullover right now so I'm going to return it but then I am parked outside of Ulta because Jack actually really liked the CeraVe CeraVe don't know how to CeraVe we're gonna go with CeraVe for the rest of our days on this channel Jack really liked the cleanser that I got him for normal to oily skin and when he uses mine which is for or no for normal to dry skin but when he uses is mine which I have for normal to oily skin he says it just dries his skin out too much so we're very bougie we have two different cleansers for ourselves in this house I'm gonna pick some more up of that and then I asked him if he needed anything else while I was out before returning to the house and he asked me to go to Dick's sporting goods to check on if they have his protein powder which he really likes this ISO 100 fruity pebbles protein powder I have to say I'm not a protein powder fan and I still taste the protein in this so I'm not saying it's like protein taste proof but whenever he scoops it or sips it 
it smells like actual, it literally smells like he's just drinking fruity pebble milk. It's interesting that he added Dick's Sporting Goods on the list because I had a idea that maybe I want to go there because I ended up picking up a Hydro Flask while we were in Tahoe. I found that purple color in a 24 ounce, like a skinny 24 ounce, and that's very important because it fits in cup holders versus like not knowing where to put it in the car and it's rolling around and stuff. Anyway, it was very important. I wanted that color and that size because if you guys joined my live streams, you know that my Dunkin' cup, the one that I sip out of, broke. And technically this is my parents. I just keep forgetting to return it to them. So I was looking for a long-term water bottle that won't break, etc. And Jack and Ilya love their hydro flasks and I actually got them hydro flasks. I keep gifting people hydro flasks, but I don't get myself a hydro flask. So I bit the bullet. I found the hydro flask that I was looking for specifically in Tahoe and I actually got a sticker for it. It's very cute. I'll show you guys when we get home. But it doesn't have a straw top and I'm a very big fan of straw tops. I don't love the whole undoing and then sipping. Like it just, it doesn't make me drink as much water as like through a straw, but I know that they sell straw tops or at least like sippy type of tops. That sounds very juvenile, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And if they're gonna be anywhere, I would say they're at Dick's Sporting Goods because they have a massive Yeti and Hydro Flask section. So long story short, we're gonna go to Dick's and look for that top as well and uh, his protein powder. But first, let's return this loft thing. Let's get the cleanser for Jack and let's get the protein powder for Jack. A lot of this is for Jack if I'm being honest because I love him. He shows you how to make pot stickers really easy. Oh, I love pot stickers. Exactly. Ah. So chicken, I have chicken pot stickers and a double chicken. So food for thought. Maybe this weekend? Literally food for thought. Yeah. I guess I would let you cook me chicken if it tasted good. Oh my gosh. He says it's and the best it's, chicken. Oh no. And if it's cooked. It's cooked all the way. You don't know that. You haven't cooked it yet. I watched him. You're trying to kill me. Like sears it and then you let it sit in a Dutch oven, which we have by the way. Oh, Dutch oven. <laughs> And uh, yeah, super flavorful. Flavorful. Hi friends, I'm back. And the main thing that I set out to do after um, my labs was not able to be done, unfortunately. It was very sad. And I got this thing. This thing was um, kind of off-brand actually, off-brand Hydro Flask. It literally was in the Hydro Flask section, but there were a bunch of straw and um, these like caps for wide mouth Hydro Flask, but none for like standard or like small mouth, I guess. Then there was this brand in the same section. It's called the Coldest Water Circle R. It's like the same type of branding and stuff. I honestly don't know how companies get away with that, but anyway, it seems like Hydro Flask does not have a thingy. So we're gonna try it out. I've got the Hydro Flask here. I got this color, this like purple color, and I have my first sticker on it. I know, basic, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna start putting, not like random stickers on it, but stickers for places that we go. So I'll get one when we go to Austin. I'll probably get one for Portland, Maine, or like from a brewery that we love here or something. I love that idea. Anyway. Let's try it out. This came also with a fun straw cleaner, which is fun. And the straw thing goes all the way through here and out this side on this thing. So this can be properly washed. And we got a bottle cleaner for it yesterday at um, Market Basket. I've got all the cleaners. The best part about the other um, water bottles I had was you could just throw them all in the in the washer, in the in the dishwasher. Since I'm gonna be adding stickers to this, it, it adds a little, little extra complications to that idea. Got the water. And this is the same ounces as my Starbucks cup. 
even more than the Dunkin' Cup that I had. Oh no, the straw's too long. We gotta cut it. Less is more. It's supposed to fit like multiple bottle sizes, I guess. So let me cut it just a little bit more. There's like backlash off of that. <laughs> it's like attacking me after I sip. Still attacks me after I sit, but it gets the job done. Straw intact. And then my little cousin Avery over the weekend, she's been super into, like, I think these are the same as like those rainbow looms that were super big with the kids, like, I don't know, like maybe five years ago or so. And she made me a bracelet, but I'm gonna stick it on here because I love it so much. And it goes with all the colors. Just so cute. So colorful. things jumping on some phone calls and I drank all my coffee so now I'm sad that that's over I just wanted to casually just casually just, just just address something real quick about the video that was posted on Monday. I got a couple questions wondering where it went and I did end up privating the video. I'm really glad that whoever got to see it got to see it, but the information is just a little bit too fresh right now. And while everything is kind of being figured out and everybody's like emotions are heightened about everything, I'm just gonna not have the video up for now, but I just wanna say that the comments that I did see before I privated the video were extremely extremely validating. Even when I went to post the video, I was like, Mac, are you being dramatic? Like, is this like, are you reading too much into this and things like that? And I was very, very, very careful not to embellish any details or anything and not dramatize it in any way, shape or form. And so when I saw your all's comments, they were extremely validating. It was very validating to know that other people from the outside definitely thought some of the actions were strange and that they shouldn't have been taken lightly so thank you all for your sweet comments and validating comments even if you didn't realize how validating they might have been and I saw every single one of them and I really really appreciate you guys taking the time to comment the other thing on a much much actually more casual <laughs> casual topic a few weeks ago I mentioned that I was starting um, function of beauty like starting to use it for my hair and I was gonna let you guys know how it went I'm about like two to three weeks I would say into using it I think the the very first week was technically Tahoe and then this is going into the third week and I'm gonna put a little clip of what my hair looks like after it's like all dried and everything out of the shower and if you guys know me at all normally I have my hair up and I have my hair up today but it's just because I wash my hair like every other day so this is just like a day two but even if it's day one hair like washing it that day it takes me almost zero time to put my hair up one in the summertime I don't really like it like touching me, but two, my hair immediately falls flat. Like as soon as it dries all the way, it completely falls flat and I just don't like how it looks. I don't feel it's doing anything for me. So I just end up putting it up anyway. And ever since I've been using Function of Beauty hair, shampoo and conditioner, I use both the shampoo and conditioner. Every time my hair dries all the way, which is normally when I would just like put it up and forget about it, I actually don't mind that it's down. I love the way that it looks. The volume is really great. The texture is really great. It's it's like very smooth and silky without it being just like flat to my head, which is a very new thing for me. And I can't believe just changing my shampoo and conditioner did that or is doing that. The first time I used it, I think I mentioned this in the vlog, I wasn't sure about the texture once I put it in. It just felt a little heavy, like when I was actually putting it into my hair in the shower. But I feel like my hair kind of got used to it. There also wasn't any like red flags on that first day when it dried or anything like that. The only thing, the only thing that I'll mention, and I'm keeping an eye out on this is that when I go to shampoo my hair I am noticing more hair fallout in the shower than I noticed when I was using my just like drugstore shampoo but it's not an alarming amount it's not like oh my gosh there are chunks of my hair falling out it's nothing like that I've definitely experienced more hair loss I should say I guess from shampoo I mentioned it earlier this year that I discovered that the clarifying shampoo that I use once a week made it onto the list of shampoos to like be 
looked out for and like watch out for because of hair loss and how the ingredients in it are just not that great and do lead to hair loss. And as soon as I stopped using the clarifying shampoo, I started gaining back all of this hair. It's like all pulled back now, but like this didn't exist at the beginning of the year. If, if you guys remember, I remember showing you guys this right now. All of this new hair growth is just from the past few months from the beginning of this year because of that, well, that wasn't there. Literally like my hairline was receding because of shampoo that I was using, but it's growing back now and I'm feeling like I'm, I'm back to back to normal, which is great. But the reason why I mention the hair loss in Function of Beauty is because I'm just very sensitive to like watching out for that because of the shampoo that I had earlier this year. But I was losing a lot more hair then, definitely not comparable. But when I stopped using the shampoo at the beginning of this year, I noticed a drastic decrease of the hair that I was losing in the shower. And now when I'm using Function of Beauty, it seems like I'm losing a little bit more, but it's not an alarming amount. And I honestly can't notice a difference in my hair. My hair still does feel more voluminous than it did before. I still love the shampoo, but I'm just keeping an eye out on that one detail. Let me know if any of you guys have any experience with Function of Beauty down below, because I would love to know if you love it or if you experienced anything weird or if it like stopped after a while. I would just love to know if you guys like it or if you guys have any concerns with it because I'm just kind of giving this a shot. Of where are we headed right and now? hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. This is I go. I was like, guys, quick. There's no one around. There's Let's a vlog. There's a car. Quick. Start vlogging. <laughs> Peer pressure. Not cool. Not cool. You're not vlogging. You're We're not vlogging. 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 You know, it's just Stop, stop staring, we're not vlogging. But where are we going right now? Crap, another car. Oh um, my god, there's another car. We're on our way to a local favorite ice cream spot called Sarah's Scoops. It's Sammy's Scoops. I know, I looked at the camera and did it. It's Sammy's Scoops. Sammy's Scoops, guys, it's great. No relation to Sarah's Scoops up in Booth Bay. Sarah's Scoops is in Booth Bay, Sammy's Scoops is here, but we keep getting them mixed up. But Sarah, if you want to show us what your scoops are all about. <laughs> have to step up because Sammy's killing the game. Sammy is killing the game. Sammy has some very good cookies and cream ice cream, just oh saying. Gosh. They've got this peanut butter sundae where it's peanut butter Are you getting cream. that? Yeah. You want to show them the scoop card that we have? Do I want to show them the scoop card? Guys, I we have know, a I? rewards like, card with Sammy scoops. So it's like 10, get 10 ice creams, mm -hmm. get one free. So I'm a part of the Frequent Scoop Club. We have four, we have four. ice creams so and we six. only need, yeah, I think we get one sticker per ice cream thing we get. And since we're getting two, we're gonna get two more, two more scoops Ooh, on scoop. our scoop card. And then we are so close to getting a free ice cream at mm -hmm. Sammy's Scoops. We love walking to it because we walk to it. It feels like we're earning our ice cream, you know? We have our Apple Watches like outdoor walk um, exercise thing on. Do you oh, have yeah. yours on? Yeah. So that it counts. Yes, it does. So we're super fit and Eating. and getting ice cream. I think we go up here. I think we go up here too. I love this neighborhood too in this street. Jack and I always pick out like our favorite houses and stuff because it's so freaking cute. And wouldn't you know they're always the same houses. Yeah I know they're always our favorite houses like there's that one that's really cute. This one is very cute and then yeah, I like this one. you like what you like that one. Waste Industries I can see it now. <laughs> like, look at this driveway Waste. it's so nice. It's so cute. Don't mind the drive by. You're okay. <gasps> The car almost saw us. The terror of vlogging. The, the car almost saw us vlogging. And then there's this one that has like the archway right here. We think that's so cute. That neighbor said hi to us one time. I think it's cute. Okay, yeah, we think it's cute. Wait until you see the one with like the ridiculously nice gardens. Uh, that mm. one's really cute too. Where's all the cars? It's usually packed. It's definitely it extremely empty today. I have no idea. Everyone's out and about. It's summertime, you know? Yeah. It's Wines Day on a summer day. Good point. You know what? They're probably at Sammy Scoops. Let's go. If we're being completely honest. Why am I out of breath? We're walking uphill. Are we really walking uphill? Yeah, it's a slight incline too. My calves are killing me. Also guys, I don't know if I ever showed you all, but I got this bag in Tahoe at the outlets that Ilya dragged us to, and it was only $12. A Columbia, like, fanny pack bag with like two main pockets, and it's like this nice material. 12 bucks. Oh wait, guys, 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 this is the house with the nice gardens. Look at the front gardens. And then look at the, that's their fence. And then those are all the gardens. There's a car coming. Stop walking. 
I'm not vlogging. They see us. They see us. They can't see oh, us. Oh no, they're sobbing. Oh god. Oh god, awkward. No sign. He knows we're okay. vlogging. I feel like it's been twice, bub, that the people with nice gardens have been in their lawn and we've been walking down here like managing their lawn. Probably. And then they're the only the only house along all of the street that has like no pooping dog signs in their yard. They are they just seem very particular. But it also pays off because they've got the nicest gardens on this street. And we know this because we frequent this street because we, actually we are do. frequent scooper members. We, we are very, very frequent scoop clubs, Sammy Scoops members. Oh, man, Sammy Scoops. Hey, okay. How you doing? Good thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. Could you do that peanut butter Sunday? Yeah, sure. Awesome. And could I have a small Oreo, please? In a cone or a dish? A dish, please. And for the peanut butter sundae, is whipped cream, nuts, and a cherry okay? Perfect, yeah. yeah. No talk, no. Thank you. Are these all sundaes? Yeah. I got this one time. This is really good. They're brownies. The brownie delicious. sundae? Yeah. We've got peanut butter. This. Have you, you've gotten the banana split before, right? Yep. Okay. You said this one's good or this one's good? Oh, that one looks dope. Yeah, I want to try that one. Pretzels, caramel, hot fudge, nuts, choice of ice cream. Yum. This looks like a beer. The avalanche. Oh. Sammy Scoops. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You good, Arlen? Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, man, bub. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Take it easy. Bub. 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 Guys, look at the size. <laughs> it's massive. What kind of size did you get? No, it only comes in one size. It looks like, look at the liquid peanut butter swirl like on it. It's so ridiculous. It's so good. Mm. We're going way over calories tonight, but it's worth it. It's fine. It's Wednesday. Guys, it's called flexible dieting. My and God. summer. Hot girl summer, you know? Mm. I been there are hot girls like yourself. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, we are going to enjoy our ice cream on our lovely walk home. They know we're vlogging. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below because we upload videos here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Hey, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you like peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe to see us get our full Scammy Scoops card. This full Sam yeah, you guys gotta subscribe because this summer we're getting a full Sammy Scoops card for a free ice cream. But we love you guys so much and we'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.